Hello, I am Zion. And I'm Judah. And welcome to the Amateur Film Critics, episode three of our podcast. Yes, here we are. It's We're on our third great, episode. It's going to be a great episode. I have high hopes for this episode. You have high hopes? I mean, we did quite an interesting movie, that's for sure. Oh, uh, before um, we get into it, uh, today's episode is on Little Shop of the Horrors. It's on, it's on HBO Max. Our, uh, in, our, when you're watching this, hopefully it's on HBO Max. HBO, HBO Max. Hopefully, if it gets taken uh, down. Uh, uh, if you don't know, HBO Max likes to take down stuff and then put them back <laughs> up, which I really hate because yes, uh, during the I've heard a lot about this from season, Zion. During the Christmas season, I wanted to watch Gremlins because it's my favorite Christmas movie of all time. But they took it down. You can even and call then, it a Christmas movie. And then put it back up after Christmas. And so I was really yeah. mad about that. But anyways... I, I think they took know, it down because people don't consider it a Christmas movie, usually, Zion. But it is. But what yeah, other I Christmas mean, I can see does how you HBO Max have? What other movies? Well, I'm sure they put stuff up for the holiday season. Yeah, but yes, but a show off of the topic of Gremlins because that's a different movie. <laughs> that that's probably a movie we'll probably review during Christmas. We are here but to. Don't worry. I will make sure we re- we review it during Christmas. Okay. Anyways. Oh, no. so, uh, we are the Amateur Film Critics. It's a podcast yes, here where to... uh, we dive into the movies that we think are worth talking about. Um, yeah. I, I like to say famous movies. Three. Zion is willing to go stray off of famous movies, I would say. In fact, we have a future we episode are, planned. Yeah, older movies. That's going to okay. be like very Our out of nowhere, episode, I'm going to say. I think it but, was a good... I thought it... The, that 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 future movie was a good movie, but it was weird. But anyways, I'm not on our on our That's not today's so, anyways, topic. Anyways, anyways, we're off track we, again. We are so off. We are so off yeah. topic. Okay. It's okay. Sometimes we're still figuring out how to do this. We're really sorry. Uh, okay. If so so today's topic: <laughs> Little Shop before suddenly <laughs> eat more. We're back on topic. Yes. We open on. Okay. How do we open? Oh, oh, we scene, open right? On no, no. We open on uh, a man talking over like some Star Wars tech type stuff. So he basically tells us that an eclipse really? happened and yes. uh, tragedy. Yes, and, there's a little uh, like Star Wars text type thing. Yeah, Star Wars text type thing. And then uh, and it, it tells you an eclipse. And then happened. the opening song, yeah. And then the opening song happens, but I'm not yeah. gonna sing because of copyright reasons. But uh, but I gotta say I op- like that song. I'm gonna tell you which ones that I think are banners. How about that? And the opening song is a banner in my opinion. Yes, little. That's it's so called Little Shop of Horrors, I believe. Yeah. And Look up the soundtrack. Say, it's a really good soundtrack. There are there it are is a, good a lot of songs that that I would re-listen to. Yes, I would In even fact, say that it's a better soundtrack this, than the Great Muppet Caper. I don't know if that's gonna yeah. Make I Zion thought it was a bit mad. well. Okay. Well, this one is act- was actually a, a musical beforehand. Oh, yes. I have to. So and that's the other wait, thing. Before I we think. get any further, oh yes, sorry. I I have to talk about um. Uh, so before this movie, or how this movie got made. So before this movie, okay. uh, there was actually a, 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 a like, B movie, a, so if you don't know what B movies are, a B, like, monster movie. Yeah, uh, I know what you mean. It mm-hmm. was a, um, it was kind of like that, made in, like, 1960. Uh, mm-hmm. Which I looked up before this, and apparently it has Jack Nicholson in it. But then they turned that woo into woo. a musical. They turned that into a like a Broadway musical type thing for theaters, and then okay. uh, they made this, which this movie is directed by. 
Well, let's this just get into the ma, 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 movie. We'll talk about the puppets when the puppets come up. How about that? Okay, okay yes, yes, yes. So okay. we get in this movie. They sing their first song, which is like literally just an opening song. It's called Little yeah. Shop of Horrors. And I think Look we do up, need to it's talk a about it. In my opinion. Yes. This is like, I did not realize this going into it. I had completely forgotten about this part, but this really is a musical musical. Like, this is not like this a musical a movie musical. where there are like yes, it, maybe five songs interspersed. This has a yeah, bunch of songs. It's mostly yeah, singing, like actually. Yeah, this is my favorite musical. By the way, my second favorite would be Sound of Music, but mm-hmm. and, and my least yeah. favorite is Hamilton. Okay, which, which... Zion, so this is funny <laughs> because... <laughs> we both we both seen this movie before. Uh, we we decided to watch for the podcast. We both seen this movie yes, before, and Zion before. made me watch it after I made him watch Hamilton when it came on Disney Plus. Yes, so I really liked musical. Hamilton, and he hated it. And so I believe then I showed him at my that point, musical. she showed me his favorite musical, which was Little Shop of Horrors, and I hated it. <laughs> Back then, though, my opinion may or may not have changed. You're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna have to wait I'm just and see. Say, All right, you have to wait and see. Okay. Um, but yes. So after the opening song, we meet this little floral shop. Oh, we meet. Yeah. And so down we go to the floral shop. Uh, and we Which, meet our main character, so I believe, who is what's his name? Who is Seymour? Is our main character yes. played? To- Played by, um, played by Rick Moranis, who was also in yes. like Ghostbusters, Spaceballs, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yes, Honey, I, I mostly know him from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The other two movies I have not he seen. He hasn't seen the other two movies. I, I told Zion I'd watch um, Ghostbusters and, then, and just uh, never got around to it. And so, oh. and then, he even has a Funko Pop of Ghostbusters, which I, I do love the Funko Christmas. Pop, by the way. The yeah, Funko Pop, cool where is it? Yeah, the Funko yeah, Pop's awesome. Yeah, it's a awesome. good Funko Pop. I also have the Funko Pop somewhere. Uh, yeah, it has a little building and everything. I love that. If, if if they don't know us personally, we own, like, a bunch, hundreds of A Funko lot of Pops. pops. Zion is, oh, uh, like, I believe, yeah. our, I like, we have an app collected. that tracks all of them, and I have over 240, I believe. Yeah. Zion has way more. I have, like, over 400. It's over 400. Yeah, Zion has nearly, like, anyways, probably twice as many as me. Yes, back, oh my gosh, we get so <laughs> off track. Uh, we meet the little floral shop. We meet uh, Rick Moranis, who is yeah, just botanist. Running, he is yeah. very timid and kind of like, uh, you know, he's the underdog. Yeah. And we find out that this floor shop is kind of like running out of business. They don't have a yes. lot of business. Uh, and then we meet Audrey One. Audrey One is, and she comes in with um, a black guy, and mm-hmm. which, which, which and- uh, the rest of the people in the shop talk about is from her boyfriend, but she doesn't yeah. specify. She doesn't like to talk about it, but her boyfriend is definitely, you know, not a nice guy. He gave her a black eye. He is not a nice guy. He does that multiple times throughout the movie. We won't get too much in detail. Boyfriend later, but yeah. um, And then there's the shop owner who just kind of yeah. The shop owner is way more endearing than I thought. Like he really cares for like the fact that her 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 boyfriend is so cruddy. Like he really cares yeah, about that, he, and like you know, he cares he's about more like he's actually I very good moral, which is not what you expect. What I expected. Yeah, I think he's a good boss because he he seems to care about his employees, but mm-hmm. he also cares about his shop. You know. Yeah, kind and of while we're on the topic of characters, kind of um, Audrey One is not my favorite character. Yeah, Audrey One is her- kind of dumb. I find her. She's, well, yeah, for one, okay, she's, dumb character. she 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 is portrayed as if she is dumb. She's not super dumb. She's not. They could have made her worse, is what I'm one saying. Of the but her voice. I, w- 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 one of the only nitpicks I have this movie is uh, her talking voice is is annoying. Yeah. But her but she surprisingly has a really good singing voice. Yes. Though. So you can tell it's, the talking voice is fake. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like that yeah, kind of thing. I did it. Yeah. Uh, I moving along though, okay. they sing another song. Uh they it the just, business well, is like, failing. Like the downtown. Uh, yeah, they sing downtown. 
It's an okay song. It's an okay song on the soundtrack. I, I like downtown. It. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's all about how yeah, everybody. I like it. And I this like sort of reveals it. how both. This sort of reveals how both. Uh, what's her face? Aubrey, Audrey won, and how? Yeah, and uh, uh, Seymour want to get out of downtown, which is sort of yes. like the slums uh, in a way. Yes, yeah. and well, we see um, a relationship between these characters. But anyway, yes. But uh, we then get then to go back that, to that. We cut to, to um. To, we cut to Rick Moranis trying to. No wait, we actually cut to uh the back to the sh- shop, right? Oh yeah, I believe we, oh, we go cut to the shop. Yeah. and oh, we cut to uh Rick Moranis shows his boss uh this this like weird plant he has. He puts it in the window, mm-hmm. and immediately. Someone comes in, and which uh, they don't have a lot of customers, uh, so yeah. so like they're all happy. And he tells, yeah, and, and we this... get to hear the uh, story of how he found this plant. It was uh, during yes. the uh, eclipse, and he got it from this. Uh, he says this like Chinese shop owner, but yeah, and there's sort of a bad racial stereotype there. Yeah, a bad but, racial. Stereotype. Oh, but we'll yeah. move past that. We're um, move past that. Okay. Yeah, uh, but that's what happens. There's this whole song about the, it, It's sort of a song. It's not much of a song, but it kind of is about him just getting the plants from this thing. And it yeah. sort of is this. The best way to describe the plant is it looks a little bit like a Venus flytrap, but it's yeah, very different like a Venus from normal flytrap. ones. It's much more yeah. roundish. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a yeah, um, much more roundish. But the Venus flytrap just planting in the window brings in so many customers that that day they sold like more flowers than ever. Right? Yeah, they've sold so many flowers that business. So it's an immediate hit. And so, and so, it's closing time. Rick Moranis tries to go home, but then his boss stops him, stops him, and says, "No, I need to, you need to try to grow that that plant." Yes, uh, especially since the plants. This day. And so we the plant like comes over a little bit. It kind of gets yeah. sadder. The plant gets sad in a way. And that's why he yeah, needs to grow so, the plant. And you see him sing this song. Wait, did he sing this song? Oh, let me look mm-hmm. up. And he's seen a song. He's saying a song grow the plant. about why won't it like why won't it grow? And at yeah. one point he says, "Do I need it's to give okay you song. blood it's or something one. like that?" And it's, yeah, it's the not the best, best one. On the track. There, there I think I still enjoyed it though. The same. Yeah, yeah, They're I shows. enjoyed it's... every song. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed all the songs surprisingly. Yes, but um, was, yeah. We get that, so he accidentally cuts himself during the song, though, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's yeah, when so the plant... he cuts to it, and then he finds that uh, the plant actually grows off of blood. Yes, because the plant perks perfect. up when he sees yeah. the blood. So that should have been... This is this is the point. That should have been an immediate turnoff. I mean, I know this plant yeah, has made I, them a lot of business. Yeah, I and this think... this plant could be really good things yeah, for him. Yeah, he should... Sh- but... What he should have done, he should, should have told his boss, and they should have burned the plant. Because... Oh, but, yeah. But it says that he decides to go ahead and start... Go ahead and feed it his blood. Yes. Which so, um, which which then he leaves and then oh we see the plant like grow, right? Yes, or is the that plant, later? Yeah, we see the no, we see the plant grow. I believe after he leaves. Yeah. Um. So the shop gets more and more popular. Uh. Poor and little then, what's his face starts uh, getting bandages all to, on his fingers because he's been giving wait, blood. Wait. I just get past the um radio. <laughs> Oh, that they go to the radio show. Yeah, I was after. I was just summarizing for them to try to get it realize what's yeah, happened. Yeah, happening. That's what's happening. But that's why he goes to the radio show. And then he goes to the and radio show, which um I hated the scene, gonna be honest. Show, I found the guy annoying. Uh, well well, before we meet the guy, um well, we see uh the Venus s- fly trap. Try to, Audrey uh, too. The plant's name is Audrey, Audrey too. Just because oh, yeah, we haven't Audrey said too. that. Oh no, Audrey that's a very important fact. <laughs> oh no. Okay. 
Wait, okay. uh, um, Audrey Chu tries to um, do you want to say it or Audrey Chu um, sort of tries to uh, I don't know bite this lady's butt bite this lady's butt <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly what happens Audrey yeah, bite uh, this lady's this, butt and then he to get this stopped. woman is like bent over and he tries and Audrey Chu tries to way. reach it Thank goodness, yeah. Thank goodness, it, though, that that, that, that what uh, uh, he it, realizes. Weird scene to talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah that thank would, goodness, would a weird scene to talk Seymour about. realizes uh, and grabs and grabs him yeah, and pulls him back. And, and then I, well, cut to Audrey the, too. And then uh, we cut to him on the radio show, which uh, the host is played by uh, John Candy, one of the many. Um, g- g- appearances by famous people. John Candy, if mm-hmm. you don't know, was also in Spaceball. He was Uncle Buck. And, uh, and he was in Oh, the that's why I recognized like, him. Have you yes. seen Uncle Buck? Or I think I've seen... Or what did I see him in? The, the, you, the watched, you and I watched that one. Next season. Oh, and you saw him in, in the Red r- 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 Out. Or, the Great Outdoors, yes. You and I watched The Great Outdoors, movie. and he was in that. Sorry. Oh, we're going I was trying to, to think cover, what I had seen him in. We're going to have to cover Uncle Buck and The Great Outdoors next season. Are we season. going to have to? Like, Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I'm just saying. Do you okay, have to? Okay. Have to? okay. <laughs> uh, moving on. Moving uh, on. So, the radio show's weird. Blah, blah, blah. So we see that the boss is listening to the radio show. And, yeah, um, he he wants him. It's the boss is basically just wants the advertisement for the shop. Yeah, right? he wants the advertisement. For and the he sorts shop. it. He sort of gets it. Um. Yeah, and then uh, Audrey One comes in and hates that. Sh- sh- hates that she missed the r- missed the radio show, and so yeah. uh, they c- go. So then she goes back to her um apartment and fantasizes. About her, is about that here? Her future, yeah, yeah, isn't that here? Yes, that is here. Yes, yes, that's here. That's here. Okay, I didn't know if that was here or if it was. Yeah, the so she fantasizes that. about her future, about and she fantasizes yeah, her about... being with Rick Moranis and them having a very fifties home life. Uh, their yeah. home life is she basically fantasizes about a better homes and gardens is like how like she imagines perfect, it like well, yeah. like she fantasizes about a very 50 sitcom like almost like a uh, um, almost like Dick Van Dyke yeah. kind of and you can tell it's actually TV kind of sad because right when you now. think about it she's basing almost all this off of like magazines like Better Homes and Gardens is what yeah, off of, like that's like, how she's basing off of yeah as she thinks like yeah, that, I, that perfect thing it, can happen it's it's, yeah, it's sort of sad and them you actually feel it. bad for Audrey one yeah 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 I felt bad for her even though we talked mm-hmm. bad about her voice and and, yeah. and stuff I have a kind of feel for her and you know yeah she's still a bit of an endearing character I would say yeah I felt yeah, I felt sympathy for her almost. Mm-hmm. Like, like she should have this better life. Uh, and then we cut to uh, uh, the, uh, the song she sings is kind of a banger. I, I mean, it, it was. <laughs> I forgot about this. I don't, yes. I don't think it was up there. I don't think it was up there as well. Oh, you don't think it was up there? Yeah. I mean, I thought it okay. was a good song. I just didn't think it was as good as some other songs that we will get to. And then uh, we cut to uh, 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 the chorus girls, which. I- I'm gonna say that the chorus girls were my favorite characters in the film. Yes, just, these chorus girls. For some reason, I I laughed out loud when like they would be on uh, sock. Yeah. Green for some reason. 
They're oh, and, they and they're really good singers. <laughs> By the way, the, I don't know yeah, who played really these chorus singers. girls, but they can sing. Really good singers. Yeah, yeah they so can the sing. chorus girls do this little transitional, like very small song. Transitional, I guess so, right? Uh, they do this small song where uh, we see Rick Mermanis cut open his knuckles to feed plant mm-hmm. his blood, which is very scary. Like. Rick M- Seymour, Seymour, come on, this yeah, is not Seymour worth it. A... Yes, yeah. most of these characters like do dumb things, like, but what Seymour does is the dumbest. Well, yes, I would say what Seymour does is the dumbest. Yeah, I would say what Seymour should have seen does. past this, is my thing. Yeah, he should have seen past this, and he should have, um, um not said, yeah, but. From there, there's a little bit of, I believe, dialogue between there, Seymour I mean, and Audrey, too. But hold up, I forgot get... what happened next. I for- forgot. Yeah. Hold up, I'm trying to see here. Well, don't we get to the dentist? Is that next? I I'm believe sorry, so. We forgot what happened next. I'm on HBO Max right mm. now, trying to rewind and through. Okay. Up. But talking well, we, about. The, I guess uh, I th- I still have problems oh, with Seymour. Oh, I'm gonna talk. Oh wait, what? Trans- oh, okay. So what happens after he cuts his knuckles open is oh, oh we see oh we cut back to oh the shop in the morning. Businesses booming. Mm-hmm. They're trying yes. to get uh, some funeral flowers ready. Blah blah blah. Not important stuff. And then they transition to oh. Oh, we finally see her boyfriend. We finally see. Yeah. And this is probably one of my favorite songs in the movie. I love Okay, listen, listen uh, up, listen this up. This is the favorite. Because here's the, the deal. Movie. I'm gonna be honest. I'm this gonna be honest. Up on, okay, so we were at the funeral part, right? Like we were at the part where uh Seymour and what's her face were arranging flowers for funeral. They did an awful job, yes. by the way. That would have been an awful bouquet for a funeral. <laughs> yeah, but it's an um, awful bouquet um, for a funeral. They, it was like six lilies all in a like vase well, with some glitter on people them. Probably ordered like like that type and how many? I don't I don't know those, honestly. I don't know. Job. It was bad. They did a horrible. They did job. a bad job. Anyway, and um, anyways, there's some nice dialogue with Seymour and Audrey. And at yeah, this point, so, I am like and in the movie. Like I'm into the movie and I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, then. I realized the then thing. they talk about the boyfriend and they cut to him and that's when I was like, oh no, I re- I remember I why I hate this movie. I love this scene in the movie. He, he was, hated it. I loved it. Oh, my word. This is like awful. This scene is awful. It's awful, so, Zion. But so the boyfriend is played by uh, so, uh Dave Martin, which yes. Um, I can't think Another of any famous person. He's, in. He, he's, he's been, been in a stuff. You, you've he's seen his face. Hey, you know, hey, if if like I've watched a lot of older Saturday Night Lives, lives, life stuff, then you've probably seen him. Like he's in the Pink Panther and Father of the Bride, also cheaper by the dozen. There you oh, go. Three movies. Oh yeah, I've seen, seen Cheaper him by the Dozen. I haven't seen the other two, but I have seen Cheaper by the Dozen. I've seen Pink Panther. Anyways. Um, yes. But it's this is bad. Zion, I can't describe this scene. I hate this I, scene. So, you need to just do uh, it. Basically, uh Steve Martin plays this biker dentist, and he sees this. Um, and he sees this. Uh, so there's basically two villains of the movie. This is the first villain of the yes. movie. Uh, oh. So and you see him. He he talks about basically in the song how um how when he was young he <sighs> liked to oh. do bad things, but then his mama told him that if he beat a dentist that he could do this for for a living and so oh he my is gosh. a horrible dentist and so he, uh, we see him here's, do horrible things to his patients here's the deal he, and I think oh, we see when him I first time watched I think when I first gas. watched this movie I was just they I was like okay this is weird when, when we first met him this was weird then 
he hops, then he comes in and summons in the dental chair and he like <laughs> puts his leg up on that chair with them, grabs a pair of twires, Say, sticks oh. them in there and starts twisting, twisting and twisting that tooth out. And at that point, I was about I'm to throw it's, up. It's supposed to, you're supposed to like think he's a bad person and he is a bad person because he enjoys the song is the thing you point the thing the point is he enjoys causing pain he also has a shrine to his mother in the closet which is very creepy yeah like a shrine of his mother in the closet yeah i don't know why that was out of nowhere this song is a banner though you have to admit that this is a good song yes so we have this man we have this dentist who is taking he takes laughing gas too. You know how awful yeah, that is. He's yeah, like drugging up on his gas. own he supply. He could be the next Joker. He could be. <laughs> I could see him as the Joker. Oh, really? Are we because, sure about that? Well, Zion, I enjoy. I like the Joker. Flags. Don't ruin the Joker well, for me. <laughs> at a ride in six. At a ride in Six Flags. Um, a dark ride at Six Flags. Uh, there's like a Justice League ride and. And mm-hmm. like during the cutscenes of that ride, and you see uh, the Joker like suck up laughing gas like Steve Martin does in mm. this movie. So that that's the yeah. Only okay, as the Joker. Okay. Yes. So we have this awful death song, kind of which like introduced the Joker as well. He he laughs kind of like the Joker as well. Yes, the dentist. We then uh, get to Seymour, who is just outside, uh, and yeah, the Seymour dentist is- sort of like just drives up on his motorcycle, and he's the de- the the dentist tries to just basically walk right into the shop, even though Seymour tells him it's closed, and the dentist gets all like tough and rough because he's one of those like toxic people. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and that before it gets out of hand, uh. Audrey 2 comes out, or not, no, 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 wait, sorry, wrong Audrey, wrong Audrey, Aud- the the real Audrey the one. comes out the and one. S- explains that this is, to see more that this is her boyfriend. Yeah, that, this is. Yeah, and so, we, it's, uh, that's, so, he gets all, like, you know, the dentist gets all nice with Seymour now, and, like, he's like, come yeah, in for a free root canal whenever you want. Uh, and I was like, who just wants a free root canal out of nowhere? Yeah, and, so, oh. and then, so Seymour goes back and uh, sees that the plant has died, and then the plant starts to talk. Yes. The plant starts to talk. To talk, talk. Like this. Read me, Seymour. Why? why? Yeah, why? Okay, why? that was, first of all. Like, Mike, if he talks the plant... kind of like Michael Klump from The Office. Oh my no. gosh, you're right. Holy <laughs> <laughs> cow! That like that connection is that's such a great description. Yeah, it talks like yeah, Michael Clump from like the office. Michael Clump. I have a pop of him in my hands right now. My yeah. pop up Michael Clump. Zion has oh, about yeah. 40 office pops, by the way. Just <laughs> another I another brag on Zion's part. part. If that if you consider that a brag. Um is but that- uh I just consider it a bribe, you know? Okay, yeah. It's the office. Um, But, yeah, so the plant starts talking. Another, like, warning thing. The plant is also very big at this point. What would you say? The plant could, like, you know, Uh, bigger than a toddler. Definitely. Way bigger than a toddler, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's bigger. I would say. It's way bigger, and um, it's it's us. It's asking Seymour to feed him, and it wants blood. But Seymour's, you know, giving as much blood from his fingertips as I can. So yeah, yeah. and so since the dentist yeah. has been awful to uh, Rick Ryan's love interest, uh, the plant convinces him through a song, which is it. I mean, is this, this a was a good song. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. it's a banger. It's, it's a good. It's a banger. Okay, it's a banger. Yeah, it's a banger. As long as you call it a banger, no, I'm joking. I don't care what you call these songs. I'll forget about them. <laughs> oh, but... We uh, rank the songs at the end of this. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, a, no, no, no! We're not taking time to do that. Of the songs from this. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're okay. We're off track. We're off track again. Oh. Um, but the. Uh, 
he 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 convinces Seymour to kill a man, basically, which is absolutely yes, basically, and so it's, it's awful. Yeah, and so um, then we cut to uh, the dentist office after this. Yeah, um, in and which I I don't even want to talk about him, the scene but... before Seymour shows up. Because the same before uh, Bill Murray comes in. Oh Bill, no, Bill that was Murray Bill Murray. Was in, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bill Murray was in uh, Ghostbusters, Groundhog Day, which Groundhog Day is a good one. Um, it's a very, that's I a famous believe, movie. I've never seen it though. I believe he's in Caddyshack. I believe he's in Ca- Caddyshack. I- I've never seen. Yeah, he's Shack, in Caddyshack. He's in it. Okay, he but anyways, he plays uh this patient who uh basically likes going to the dentist. He he, he likes like uh, the dentist a little like, too much, just mouth. a little too much. That's, his, that's the much as I'm gonna say. Uh, he likes the, the dentist a little too and the, much. And the uh and the original uh Bill Murray's part was played by Jack no 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 Hickelson and the original 19th. 61. This is the part that Jack Huckles can play. Really? Okay. Yeah, so. Interesting. That's scary. Um, uh, but, yeah. Moving past Bill Murray, uh, Seymour past comes Murray, in uh, Seymour with comes a gun. In. Yeah, so, and he almost shoots him, but then, um, Steve Martin's character puts on this uh, laughing glass Laughing ass, of, yeah, and then it's this gigantic uh, backpack the, mask thing, uh, yeah. And then the unlawful to turn off the laughing gas like comes up off and he can't turn it off, and so he basically mm-hmm. dies from the laughing gas. And then, yeah, he but, overdoses, but but but, but be, before he dies, um, he asks a more why he has a gun, and he said. Because of her, and then he real yeah. uh, and says, "Oh, what I thought was kind of a nice closure to his character." I, like, I, I don't like know. He, yeah, like it's, it's strange. It, it was like this his, moment. His, his mistakes. He realized his mistakes, which I yeah. would to call him a villain now because he realizes what he did wrong. I don't even know if he realized his mistakes, so I don't want to give the character too much credit. <laughs> yeah, let's not give him too much credit. But, but Seymour takes him back, and he Seymour takes him back to the shop and chops him up to feed to Audrey too, and that's exactly what he does. He feeds Audrey too chopped up bits of of uh, the dentist, and it's quite uh, it's just quite. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, but during he that part. Real fast, the first episode of our podcast is up. Oh, that's on awesome. YouTube. Hey, so, yeah. Congratulations. Go, if you haven't watched that, it was on the yeah. Great Muppet Caper. This is just a quick little, a uh, quick little sh- shout out note. to ourselves. We filmed these filmed self-promotion these early. We filmed yeah. these like early, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, but, but um, anyways, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get back on track. We got to get boss. back on track. Well, yeah, the <laughs> the boss catches uh, uh like see Seymour chopping up the dentist, and he doesn't do something immediately, but he does it. Yeah, he does it, uh, and so Seymour starts feeding uh the puppet, um our I mean Audrey to the uh plant, yes. which which we gotta take a quick moment to talk about uh the puppetry. So uh, oh yeah, this was. I've heard that Brian Henson, Jim Henson's son, worked on the puppetry. I don't worked behind the scenes on the puppetry. It's yes. Okay, that makes the... sense. And uh, uh, also Frank Oz directed this. Who? Um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Had a lot of connections to the Muppets. Frank Oz did like Miss Piggy. I mean Miss P- Piggy. Cookie Monster. Uh, he did Yoda Bossy from Bear. Star Wars, Bossy Bear, Animal, Grover, mm-hmm. Bert. Those are his main ones. Um, yeah, he was. He voiced a lot of. He, he voiced a lot of popular puppet. He was also Yoda from Star Wars. So yes, Yoda from Star Wars. We, we, we and Star Wars on this podcast. <laughs> I'm sure eventually we'll reach there. Uh, 
I don't know if yeah. I'd be willing to do yeah. it immediately, though. It's kind of taxing. That's a that's a very famous movie, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the next day, after Fimor has fed the dentist to the plant, uh, basically Audrey One is all distraught because her boyfriend has now just disappeared, which you know she a little bit has a right to, in a way. But um, okay, it's um, the. the Quick side note, um, Brian Henson did serve as a puppeteer for uh, Audrey t- 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 who, um, nice, and, very nice. And uh, Jim Henson said, Jim Henson didn't act, said he didn't have a hand in the, in the puppetry for this film, but he was very close to some of the people uh, who, in it, yeah. who were in the production. So yeah. there you go. But we need to move along because we need to move we're, at along. The, we're at my favorite song. Okay. Oh, uh, totally. Uh, Audrey, right. Audrey one opens up to see more about the fact how she secretly wished the disappearance of her boyfriend dentist. And so now she feels yeah, bad. And there's, wish. there's a lot yeah. more of that she says and everything, but, but it but basically gets to the point get to where Seymour. Yeah, we get to... And Audrey yeah. one like, sort of fall in love in a way. They really yes. like each other, right? And we get to the best song in the film, which yes. is Suddenly, Suddenly see, see More. Oh, I don't think we're going to sing it, but look it up. Yeah, I could. I, I want to sing it, it right now. I but, want yeah, to Suddenly see More. But we can't Suddenly It's a great, more. great song. It, I think it, like it was so it was it's such a good song that like when we had first watched it, this and we got to the song I was like that's what this song is I, from because I had heard this song I don't yeah. know where I had heard it before but <laughs> I had heard this song um yeah and so like it's yeah, a, it's, a, an, it's another it's, it's a absolute great song banner, absolute absolutely even if you don't watch the entire movie listen to the song because it's it's worth Look it up it's this good song. it's worth it and uh yes yeah, seem. They just sort of fall in love together, and it's super fall sweet. Um, and after that happens, though, they sort of, like, you know, later, we cut to later in the day, right? And Audrey One goes home. Yeah, Audrey uh, One goes home. Seymour, uh, is Seymour, li- Seymour is lives confronted. in the basement of the shop, yeah. by the way. Yeah, so Seymour so, goes to the basement and then is confronted by uh, his boss, who basically yes. takes him, who basically says um, she's going to take him to the police because he saw him murder the dentist. And so you mm-hmm. see him uh, with a gun pointed as at art at um Rick Moranis' character walking up the stairs and uh the plant is like it's like listening and also singing at yes. the same time. And so um and then and then when they open the uh, over the stairs he's like immediately back to standard position or the plant is. Yeah. So and so before they walk out the door, he tells Seymour that um, he's gonna, since he has a connection with Seymour, the boss tells him he's just, he's gonna let him like r- run out of town, like lay low mm-hmm. for like thirty or forty years. He just needs to know how to take care of the plant and how to feed the plant. So he asks him, yep. "What do I feed the plant?" And so Seymour is is silent, and the plant's mouth is like open wide, and and then yep. the boss backs up and then looks behind him, and then is chomped. Yup, and that's the boss of death. So that's the kill the count is two, boss. two kill counts. Yes. So. Moving on, because we're running out of time, there's this quick we scene are running out of where... <laughs> well, we're not running out of time, but, you yeah, know, we, we have a lot more to talk about, technically, because um, Seymour now sort of has control over the shop, he now, so he gets a lot of fame and attention. A lot yeah, of people who try to come at him with contracts. With yeah, contracts for stuff. Of contracts. And it overwhelms him so much that 
him and Audrey decide they're just gonna run away together, right? The next day when yes, some people come back with a check, they're, they're gonna, gonna run, run away. But and right so after they decide they're gonna run see, away, Amor tried to sneak past the past the plant, but then plant catches him and then says, "Feed me." And then mm-hmm. just says, feed me. And so he goes to the butcher shop to get some meat. And then, but, but Audrey too, being the, uh, no, 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 hickey little thing he is, um, somehow mm-hmm. figures out how to walk. He figures out how to, how to use the telephone. With, yes, he uh, uses his telephone. And, and, and it's a payphone. For yeah, he calls Audrey, Audrey one. Calls Audrey one. And he gets one, Audrey, he tricks then, Audrey one into coming yes, over to the. Her. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, he tells Audrey. Audrey first think it's us, uh, Amor, but then he tells her to, to uh, to a uh, look out her window, and then she is shocked. So, like, uh, instead of not going over there, she decides to go over there for some reason. Yeah, I know. She sees a gigantic she talking plant. In all why fairness, does she, she does not know, in all fairness, she does not know she that it know eats people. Bad. So she yeah, goes over there, and yeah, Seymour yeah, returns to find yeah. Like, yeah, she Audrey to one it water, in the process of being eaten. Yeah, mm-hmm. so... Uh, he gets her out, they run out, and then while we're in the alley, um, they are confronted with, uh, a businessman, which I believe is played by John Belushi's brother. I don't know exactly. Yeah, I don't know who John Belushi is. Sorry. He was to on say. Saturday Night Live. Okay, uh, but um, the businessman uh, talks about how he wants to take clippings of Audrey 2 and get a Audrey 2 in every home, blah, blah, blah. And that makes Seymour that's, realize that's that that was the plant's plan that. all along, was world domination. Yeah, world domination. He wants to yeah. get little Audrey 2s all over the place. Um, so Seymour runs in because he's going to destroy He's decided he's going to fight yeah, the plan. I don't know then, why he just runs in without a plan. He does not make a plan. He just yeah, runs he just in and runs decides in. to confront and it. Then, Dumbest uh, move. He sings. And then the plant sings a banner of a song. Mm-hmm. A great. It, a banner. Mm, watch out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's I'm a sorry. great song. It's a great song. Really? Absolutely. Um, and a lot of stuff happens. We couldn't even describe everything that happened. Uh, uh, but in the uh, end, Audrey 2 destroys the shop. So yeah, much that, the shop. like, ceiling pieces and brick and all that kind of stuff collapses onto Seymour. But Seymour's not dead because he is able to take a live wire and hit it on to one of Audrey 2's vines. And Audrey 2... Yeah. Explodes in a really bad special yeah, effect. Well, 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 that was the that is the main. That was it, yeah, that's the main ending. And an epic event, and then oh, we see them uh, going to their new home, and their dream home, which the, looks just like yeah. the one that Audrey two and yeah. I mean Audrey one and dreamed about. Yeah, but that's the original ending. Oh, we s- See on the garden, a uh, little an... Audrey too, just in the yes. garden, and, and that's, that's the normal and ending, that's right? The normal ending, but there is a like a, like a director's cut ending. There which is a director's is cut, very different, very different, way different. I don't know which and one I prefer. Let us uh, and, and let us tell you about the director's on, cut. Uh, so, in the director's cut, um, of uh, the plant eats. Rick Ranson's character before Seymour gets to, eaten. Like, blow it up. Seymour gets eaten, and so, uh, so that allows the plant to, um, to sign the deal to a uh, mass produce itself, uh, and so, yep. Uh, oh, we see people from all over rushing and to like buy the to, to like, buy Audrey buy too. Plants. And then everyone's buying uh, an Audrey we too. We see uh, all the plants just well, like grow up and like destroy. They destroy New the York. world. 
Yeah, well, New York, uh, yeah. Well, we, we don't York really see anywhere destroy else. Destroy New York. But one of the it, yeah, escalates. It, it, it escalates. It escalates quite quickly, if we're being honest. Yeah. All of a sudden. Yeah. And for being like, the cut These plans ending, take New York. And for being the cut ending, it seemed kind of costly. And I know, know right? Like, how much money did they spend? Yeah. We cannot describe this. The original ending is on YouTube. It's literally called the original ending. I think it might yeah, have been. It might have been the ending that showed ending. in theaters. Not sure. Um, I think it's called the but, the, uh, the, uh, the the alternate ending. Yeah, the alternate ending. They took they took but, over the world and yeah. And, 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 but my just, favorite cut. It's shocking. Some of my favorite shots from the alternate ending are uh, the uh, one where uh, you see uh, this, um, this uh, like a train go into the plant mouth, and then mm -hmm. um, the and then the ending scene is uh, the um, is the plant popping its head out of the of the uh, green hand eating. You. You. So basically, they eat you. They, they're their mission. That's why we're filming our podcast today from the inside of a plant. <laughs> oh, no. We're all inside a plant. Uh, yeah. But that's the movie. So, Zion. What's uh, your favorite what, do, what do you scene give it? What do, what do you think? What wait, wait, you, oh, what's my favorite scene? Yes. Favorite scene of the movie. Uh, my favorite scene. Uh, uh, I kind of like. I don't know what my favorite... Probably Suddenly Seymour. Okay, I because I really like that song. See, there's Suddenly Seymour or, um, or the scene where the, uh, plant is... Uh, it's the scene where, uh, uh, Rick Moranis goes in to try to stop the plant. I liked that mm -hmm. scene. And any scene that the chorus girls were in, I liked. Yes. And There's this one at the I, in the I, alternate I, ending, I, even though it's in the alternate ending. I do really like how the girl, how the chorus girls sing this like song about yeah, the song. similar events that occurred like all across yeah. America. I don't know why I like that. It's incredibly dark. Yeah, it was. Uh, dark. It's yeah. basically talking about how the thing that happened at the plant shop where where Seymour died, and uh -huh. that's what happened. Uh. It, it's talking about how that happened everywhere. I don't know why, but I also like that part a lot. Um, yeah, and so, so yeah, and I had an but, I had an appreciation for the dentist seat. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you should, uh, but okay. Gone. I had an appreciation. Okay. So I would from give there, this a yeah. I would give this a nine out of ten. Axis. Nine out of ten axes, because he takes an no. axe to go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and he chops. Yeah, there's an axe in the movie, by the way, but yeah, okay. Nine out of ten axes. Nine out of ten axes. Uh, I would give it three stars out of five. <laughs> I mean I I, I, the deal. I appreciate that it's it's got good music for one. Yeah, it's got and really good. It music. is um and it, and it's a movie that's and it it's stupid but it's supposed to be stupid as a way I think yeah, to put it. Like to there's be. not it's not a serious yeah. movie. Uh yeah, it's, it's not a serious movie. Um but at the same time that dentist thing brings me down a couple of stars. Uh, just well, because yeah, of actually, the dentist No, I I just <laughs> you know, I can't give it too high a rating. I yeah. I'm gonna give okay. it three. I, that's, I think that's a good I way. The dentist scene probably knocks down a half star for me. I think I could give okay. it three point five if it wasn't for that dentist scene. But it's okay. it's three I stars understand. out of five for me. I understand. And with that, we oh my gosh. Zion is giving me the dirty look about my rating. <laughs> um, but no, with that, and we have done our. That is episode three. That's episode of the three Amateur of Film our Critics. podcast. Go check Ooh. out our uh, Instagram page if you haven't already. Subscribe to At and Amateur subscribe. Ring Critics. that bell for notifications. Woo woo! Like the video, please, bell, bell, bell. or whatever. Like. 
We hope you, comment, we hope you liked this. And subscribe. We hope you Please did. Please comment on what your favorite scene was from the film if you actually watched it. Yeah. Um, and if you made it this far, con- we thank con- you. Congratulations. And congratulations. Thank you very much. Goodbye, y'all. Goodbye.